Okay. So basically to remove these, now they should be oiled. They should have some oil in them. So they should be able to actually just pop right out. You can you can actually pop the shim out too, but I can't because I'm wearing gloves. But a lot of the times, if you just flip these over, they'll actually kind of pop themselves out as you can see. I flipped it over, this one came out, and there's our, there's our bucket. It's all oil. This is how it's set up inside the block. I, I, I left one in so I can show you how this is done. So you have our keeper here, our two keepers which are retaining our valve. We've got our top seat that holds the spring in. And then I don't know if you can see underneath. You can see our spring right there is sitting against the uh, against the other ring. So it's not actually so the spring isn't actually touching the head. Okay. And then when we come underneath. There's our valve. All of them are out except for this one. All right. So the first step in getting these valves out was to take the bucket off, get the bucket out, which sometimes can be a pain if there's no oil in there. Okay. So make sure not to pressure wash these or put them in the hot tank before you pull the buckets off. So we need to compress the spring to get the keepers out, and we're going to show you how to do that. All right. So we're here on the spring compressor. We've got the head set up so that when this comes down, it's going to go into the lift port right there. Okay. Once we lock that into place, basically all we need to do is compress the spring. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses, okay? Now the spring's under high load, so you don't want to do this forever. And as you can see, the keepers have kind of popped out. So you can just take like a little magnetic plug, and you pull the keepers out. And now you can slowly release the spring pressure, like this. So now we see that the spring is actually, has no tension, so we can pull all the pieces out. And then once we pull the head off the machine, we can slide the valve out through the bottom. And now all we need to do is to pull the inside retainer and the oil plug out, and then we'll be okay to go. All right, so as you can see, this is the uh, groove where we just removed the valve from. And here's an empty one, so you can tell that uh, the two things we have left are the actual ring um, that is below the spring, the spring seat, and then we have our valve stem seal that's still in there. So all you need is a pair of pliers like this, and you can get in there and be very careful. This one's already loose. Oops, I just dropped it somewhere. Oh, there it was. So we just pull that out, and then um, to get the Just use something magnetic. Oop, oh, it wants to come out. This one's already loose. Oops, I just dropped it somewhere. Oh, there it was. So we just pull that out. And then um, to get the... Just use something magnetic. Oop, oh, it wants to come out. All right, now that we have it, because it's magnetic, so we can pull it out real slowly comes out. Alright, and that is how we pull the valve assembly out of a super motor. Alright, next we'll show you how to grind some valves. It's been another video from DIY Auto Tech. See you next time.